I was very um, pleased and delighted, of course, to win the Prime Minister's Award. I knew two weeks ahead of time that I was shortlisted, but I didn't really expect to win. So I went to Canberra, just happy to be on the shortlist. So I got a real surprise and, and a very pleasant surprise when my name was called out by Mitch Fifield, the Minister for Arts. Atomic Thunder deals with a unique period of Australian history when Australia, which was not a nuclear power, gave its territory to an emerging nuclear power, the United Kingdom, to test some of the most devastating weapons ever developed by man. And we in Australia didn't really have much say in what went on. There was a huge amount of secrecy and the Australian government was actively prevented from discovering all the information they really needed to know about the tests. I had worked at New Scientist as Sydney correspondent in the late 1990s and I worked with a very important journalist called Ian Anderson. And Ian had a huge role in uncovering some of the secrecy around Maralinga. When he died prematurely, around about 2000, I was um, given access to his archive by his widow. And I found very, very interesting information about Maralinga, which um, became the foundation for my, uh, for my project. Also, uh, I worked at the ANU, both my parents worked at the ANU, and my father knew one of the key players in the Maralinga saga, Ernest Titterton. Dad actually worked for him at one time. Uh, so Dad was able to tell me a bit about that. My mum was a history researcher and she worked for the Dictionary of Biography and she was able to really help me to access sources. We have various other connections as well. I was born in Adelaide and of course this is a South Australian story in many ways. So there are many, many factors that kind of converged. And so I, a few years ago, um, started writing the book and it came out a year ago.